welcome to another episode of TCG Talk. Back today with another video, and we have another good one today. They keep spoon feeding us these great reveals. We finally have an idea of what transcendence is, as well as how chi is made and used, at least to a good amount. We won't quite have one missing piece, but they gave us a really big thing that really showed us a lot of what they were doing, and we're gonna get right into it and talk to, talk about it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoy your stay. If you're a long staying supporter, thank you so much as always. Feel free to check out the Discord down below as well as the channel membership. Get access to a bunch of cool stuff, but we'll get right into it. I don't want to waste any time. So they the last few videos have been talking about what is transcendence, what is chi, how you know is transcendence gonna be the hero ability? Is it going to be, you know, some once per game effect? You know, everybody was kind of doing their theories, and that's the whole fun part of this. Well, one they've showed us the marvel versions of all of the legendary instants right and in the videos they also show us what transcendence is so first off i want to pull up the marvel versions of these cards these look amazing i think if you're if you're a collector you're going to want to collect all of these and if you're playing the, your respective hero having the marvel instant the good thing is you only need to get one of them so they might be a little pricey honestly uh the, but the marvel legendary instants are pretty pretty awesome uh, especially the Jade Tiger domain, that just looks so sick. The gold border, like the gold celestial looking borders and the gold names up top. I mean, I didn't think anything could ever top the angels from dust till dawn. I'm really curious to see how some of these marbles look in paper with the heroes and with these legendary instants. I think this is the one time where we might get close to rivaling what those look like, but they showed the marbles. And then when the marbles flipped in the video, they pulled up they the back side of the marvels were chi so it seems like per the video uh I'll, I'll link it down below so you can go watch it is that once you transcend on a card the card now flips and becomes a transcended uh inner chi and it even says where it transcended from transcended from sacred art undercut desires or transcended from the tiger domain so chi is going to be made by transcending so but what it didn't show in the video is it didn't show like where does that chi go does it go to your soul right does it go to your hero does it go to your pit zone and then it can come back up later from your deck as chi or does it just stay on the field like it's a token right or a resource token and it, it didn't really show that it or what i think they purposely did that in the video to keep people guessing and keep us talking about it uh i do think that based off how the video just went i do think it's just going to be something that stays on the field uh, it might end up being something you just use, right? Um, so you can stack these. What it does show is I think that it also shows that it transcendent, transcending is going to be something that's semi-consistent. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard to do. Like even the transcending on those on the legendary instance, you don't have to like fulfill anything. If you play a blue prior to playing them, then yes, you get to choose all three, but you don't even have to do that. You can just choose to transcend and make chi. I do think that it's going to be something that's semi-consistent on a lot of cards. Not every card, but a good amount of cards. Probably your power cards, which will help you make chi in order to then activate your hero ability. Because like like we said before in previous video, especially with like Zen, right? Zen needs to be able to activate his ability, in my opinion, almost every other turn. Uh, because if he doesn't, he's just a really bad Katsu, in my opinion. Because he's basically Katsu without being able to go get his like a Katsu trigger very often. So... But I'm super excited that, you know, it is something a little bit different than all of us were guessing. You know, everybody was kind of giving their guess on how Chi was made. Maybe it was pitched. Maybe, you know, once you transcend, you could use your resources for Chi, right? All of us had all these opinions, and all of us were a little bit off. I never saw anybody talk about, okay, once you play a transcending card, it's going to flip and be Chi, right? Some people thought that once you play a card with transcendence, it could transcend into your soul, right and then you use that to make chi um but no one just said it's gonna straight up become three chi which is pretty awesome it's so funny how they keep doing these things where they're you know giving us these unique things and you know i like this the what they did with this because it incentivizes you just play your cards right you're not trying to stack chi by pitching or stack chi by you know doing some effect that's not interactive right like they want you to play your deck in order to make chi you need to empty your body empty your mind and your soul like they said uh in the article when they first talked about this so i'm super excited for this uh 
let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below again i i would like to think that in the set there's going to be like half of your deck may, may not half maybe like a quarter or somewhere around there a quarter to half of your deck is going to be able to transcend in some way shape or form because if it can't then you're not activating your hero ability a lot and then you're basically a texas hero and unless this set is extremely overtuned and has a lot of like stuff that you can do powerful without even using the hero ability i don't see it uh being that unoften but transcendence is not a once per game thing it's not you know going to a different state of mind we might end up still having other demi like heroes or demi like uh you know things that happen when our hero transcends so many times i think that would be kind of cool also another like weird wild hat while well, like tin hat theory but i don't think it's true just be cool is when this flips to chi maybe you have some type of talisman or offhand like a, basically like quiver with deaf dealer where even if you're running a two-hand weapon you have this offhanded thing that stores your chi maybe it goes on top or underneath this talisman and that way it's not just like a token out on the field but something that people can't like interact with uh, because this as you see here it doesn't say aura it doesn't say item it's literally it doesn't even say it says mystic resource so it's a resource and can resources sit on the field right like that right so maybe there's a way for us to bring it down into a talisman or bring it down into some type of storage device uh that's not interactable otherwise if someone can mess with your chi that would really suck if you're going through all these hoops to do that and then someone can take it out so i do think it's gonna either sit on the field and not be interacted with or it's gonna go into some type of talisman those are my two options i don't think it's gonna go pitch back into the deck because then again you're gonna have to make chi through like semi hard conditional effects or stuff that doesn't come up a ton and then you're also gonna have to wait for it to come back and if you're not playing a hero like zen then you gotta wait a whole second cycle just to use your hero ability that seems to me really not powerful um they might do it that way but i just, for the sake of the power of the heroes and the playability of the heroes i don't see them doing that but let me know what your thoughts down are down in the comments below i'd be really interested to hear it what the last thing i wanted to say was also what's interesting to me is that it says where the chi came from so you notice it says transcended from the sacred art of undercut desires and that's just one example right if it was any of them it would say the same thing so you know that's i think what is supporting the theory of people thinking that it's going back into your deck because it it would have to like otherwise people could just put chi in their deck and you wouldn't know so for the to say like where it came from you know it's like a legal chi that's supposed to be in the deck properly so that is a possibility i wonder what the reasoning other than thematics and style and look it is for telling you what card you transcended this chi from um but knowing this i'm really excited to see you know how these heroes play how often they transcend how often they can can they use their hero's ability that's really the only thing i'm a little bit worried about right now because it it, it may become a way where we're not using their we're only using their hero ability like once every three to four turns and to me it's like okay well now can they contend with the rest of the you know flesh and blood hero pool if they're not you know using their hero ability very consistently so let me know what your thoughts are on now that down below also i want to show you really fast they also showed a promo version of flick flack for national side events i think is what it was or for nationals in general i don't know if this means flick flacks to be reprinted or if it means that we might i think we'll get a reprint with flick flack personally but even if we don't this is really really cool a lot different art style they definitely did the same you know like spinning move that the original flick flack was doing uh originally it was ira i think so this is like a really cool different art style um, even the border, I think, is a little bit different on the bottom of the ninja border. So really, really cool artwork there. I don't know if this will come in red, yellow, or blue, but it already looks sick. Um, I'm assuming this is only for, like, this won't be in the set like this, and it's only the promo, unless it's the full art version. But regardless, really, really cool. I love what they're doing, Spoon and feeding us this information, right? Like, if they, when they finally stop right I, i'm gonna bring this down right here and kind of put it to the side but when they and so i can pull up the marvels but when they finally stop giving us all of these things i'm gonna be really really sad uh it's gonna be a little bit rough because like i'm not gonna have much to talk about until we get the set right eventually they're gonna say okay we're gonna no more stuff until until spoiler season and we're gonna have to wait a whole month and a half for this stuff it's gonna be nutty um but let me know what your thoughts are down below these marvels look sick uh honestly 
I actually like Lunars a lot. The one I like the least amount, right? I like them all, but the least amount is the Desires. I really like how the gold interacts with the Lunar and the Tiger Domain the most. And the Chi is very interesting. So one thing I want to know from you all in the comments down below, do you think Chi is going to go back in the deck? Do you think it's going to stay as like a token-like thing? Or do you think it's going to go inside something, whether inside your soul or inside a talisman, whatever the case may be? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. But thank you all so much. Uh, hopefully we keep getting cool stuff like this that we can keep talking about day to day. I appreciate all the support this week. The channel's been nuts the past week and a half. Y'all's interaction has been unreal, and I thank you for that so, so much. Um, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, would love to get all the interaction from y'all. Um, and if you want to see any other types of misfail videos, I'm going to do like a market watch thing and a couple other things. So definitely let me know down below what you would like me to do uh, so I can try to, you know, give you some more content before spoiler season. And yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you all next time on TCD Talk.